All right, this is pretty crazy here. Supposedly they had that cube on the Georgia Guidestones, and it said that uh, on 2014, November 14th, they uh, that was the beginning of the the uh, population reduction and. Here's some things. This ties in in a lot of places, potentially. It says that uh, in the Revelations that the, the army of the beast will kill with sword and with famine and with hunger and pestilence. Okay, we got Ebola. We got the black horse coming. That's uh, inflation. And ISIS is coming on us, man. I mean, here's what's crazy. The whore that rides the beast. There's something called the whore that rides the beast. And if Chrislam is legit and Islam and Catholics unite, listen, this is the whore that rides the beast, the uh, beast antichrist system. And and it's funny that they, it's named ISIS. And ISIS is, uh, or it talks about the daughter of Babylon. And uh, this ISIS connection in this... Uh, I mean, this whole war over there started kind of in Iraq, Babylon, and now it's all coming back full circle, and we got Ebola going on that fits pestilence, and uh, like I said, inflation, or deflation, uh, is, uh, there, that would accommodate hunger, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's crazy, so, you got all these converging events. And on the 14th, they had that Muslim prayer nation, or it, this crazy Muslim prayer. So, that means they're giving the green light on this Allah is man, uh, humanist cult that was uh, birthed out of the Vatican. It's This is going to help bring it in the New World Order. And it says, basically, here's another part of prophecy. The beast is going to abandon the whore. So eventually Islam is going to be done away with. And they're going to initiate the real Luciferianism. But they're going to use Islamicists, radical Islam, to get rid of the Christians and the Jew. Take over the world. Then they're going to turn on them and kill them off. Just like the people that they, uh, like us, we, that they're going to kill us. So, And it's only fitting, really, you know. That's the irony of life. That something like this would happen. And uh, I mean. And, and here's another thing with whoredoms. Whoredoms means the mixing of religions. So Chrislam in itself. That's a whoredom. Uh, it's supposedly uh, Catholicism. And then it's mixing with uh, Islamicism. But it's supposedly Christianity. So I mean it's a very. It, but it comes from pagan uh, stuff. That goes back to Babylon. So I mean. It's just a big, uh, it's a mind fuck, like really, but this is, uh, what we got going on here. And then I've seen this too. They're teaching in schools that the Crusades, the Holy War, the Crusades Holy War and Jihad do not mean the same thing. Because, listen, hey, I dropped that, uh, that they're the same core doctrine and they are. So that means I hit the nail right on the head. And they got a counterintelligence PR program going on in school children. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, they got uh, active uh, shooter drills unannounced down in Florida. I mean, this is, look, this that's what Sandy Hook was, was just one of those. But they uh, spun it to the, uh, to the media and to the public with crisis actors and uh, Church of Satan uh, world... Uh, one world religion actors, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, I mean, it is crazy like that out here right now. Uh, <laughs> you gotta, uh, you gotta watch out. There's all kinds of. I mean, agitation ops don't just uh, refer to black on white. This is also religious agitation ops, active shooter drillery, false flaggery agitation ops. Uh, they're gonna stir. Oper agitation between Republican, Republicans and Demo rats. 
Uh, it's it's just the mass Willie Lynch's ism just kicking on us like high high gear, man. High gear of Willie Lynchery and pimpery and uh, Illuminati black magic mind control uh, media tactics. I mean, it is just it's coming on like a uh, like a tempest, man. It's just kicking. It's just tearing just tearing shit up. Out here with all this, uh, this just bunkery, man. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, straight, uh, convoluted, deluded, uh, unconcluded mysteries and shit, man. Uh, obvious anomaly. <laughs> but, it, it, it's, it's just crazy, you know? I mean, I, I gotta be the, uh, only guy who can, uh, you know, keep talking about this, uh, these, uh, it's like when you see the man behind the curtain, you know, uh, the Wizard of Oz, and Isis is the Wizard of Oz, the Pope's the Wizard of Oz, Churchianity's the Wizard of Oz, uh, Buddha's the Wizard of Oz, uh, Satan, Lucifer, that's the Wizard of Oz, it's all the same guy, and he's just got, it's Eddie Murphy in the clumps, uh, I think that movie where he plays all the same roles as himself, I mean, that's basically the devil, I mean, he breaks his back. To uh, be this master of disguise that just keeps coming back, repackaged. It's like the same, the same piece of shit in a bigger box with the prettier wrapping paper and a bigger bow every time, uh, basically. And uh, this is the same. It's no different with Chrislam and uh, this weird 2014 Georgia Guidestone uh, declaration of the beginning of the depopulation and on the same day they're having Muslim prayers in America when it's like these dudes basically over in the Middle East have declared war on big Satan and little Satan that big Satan is America little Satan is Israel so why would these people be so embracing this uh, hardcore religious terrorist organization into this country with open arms I mean how uh, I mean, that's just, uh, I mean, that's almost like, uh, that's insane. That's, uh, it just don't make any sense militarily, uh, just logically, intellectually. It just doesn't make no sense that it's going to be embraced when it's so, uh, against, uh, everything that we stand for. I mean, here's the thing, uh... I don't know. I Like I said, I don't think these people really are against our government. I think they like it. I think the government just wants to use them against us to scare us back under their wing, so to speak. So, I mean, here's the thing. You know, you people could say I'm just a high on conspiracy theorist. But look, it, when the shit happens, uh, you're going to be still laughing then uh, because it's, it's going down. They're trying to microchip us. They're trying to bleed us to death with this Ebola care. And uh, this Siasa keeps, uh, I mean, all its deepest roots seem to keep coming back here, coming home to roost. You know what I'm saying? So that's, uh, if you if you keep looking into this shit, that's where you're going to, it's going to lead you if you're really truly seeing what it's saying, there, what the evidence is saying. So... It is what it is, man. I try to, you know, just uh, connect dots, and and that's how they connect. That's how it plays out. So you just got to look into it for yourself. You'll find out the same uh, indicators that there, this is a big uh, deception, uh, controlled opposition, uh, left and right paradigm, and... Uh, psyop asymmetrical warfare uh i mean it's it's just everything is staged and it's all a big uh pro wrestling you know, like got people are taking dives and uh making alliances uh and back room back door deals you know what i'm saying so you see don't don't uh it's like what is it man uh when you least expect it, expect it. You know, hope for the best, but uh, expect the worst. 
especially when it comes to these people because they're masters of pimpering. 